Hi, my name is Vicki Lee and I'm your success coach. Today I'm going to talk to you about American Sniper and why we lie. In times of deep trauma, we lie to ourselves. It's a survival tactic. Similar to how children are always in their imagination, like they're not sitting in front of you, they're on a rocket to Mars. In normal times, our imagination interprets and it enhances our experience. In traumatic times, our imagination inverts in order to help us get from moment to moment so that we don't self-destruct. So remember American Sniper, the movie? Well, it turns out that Chris Kyle has a tendency to tell tales like a lot of soldiers do. And to him, the lie was truer than the truth. When you're going through severe trauma, that rock could be a grenade. You don't know if that woman or that child is holding a puppy or holding a grenade. You don't know. And if you start to acknowledge the truth and the facts, you're going to go nuts. There's no way that you're going to make sense of your environment. You'd be confused. Is that a woman? Is that a child? Is it a grenade? So your mind begins to create a pattern very similar to a map that simplifies everything and your mind sees everything as a threat. So instead of a woman or a child, that your mind just calls it a savage and that makes everything easier. It's a savage, it's evil, shoot it, kill it, go home. This pattern is easier to follow than questioning and second guessing everything that's coming your way. In times of extreme chaos, like war, you're a cool cucumber. You know who you are. You know what you're doing. You know how to do it. You know how to control it. You know what needs to get done. You have a sense of purpose and meaning. And you're not going to go crazy like some folks who are always second guessing all of their decisions. What happens in peacetime, when you're no longer in trauma and war, is that your consciousness is a field of landmines where you've buried all the truth. And each landmine is a truth or a fact that your imagination has turned into something else in order to survive. And you have to now go through your life sidestepping or walking around all these landmines because that landmine or that truth would destroy you. So a therapist could say to you, did you kill a child out there in battle? And you'd say, no, sir, it wasn't a child, it was a threat to the Marines, sir. It, it wasn't a child. No, sir. Clearly it was a child, it was a threat, but your mind cannot see yourself back there in battle killing a child. Your mind only sees a threat. Your brain has already created a map of your reality and you're looking at that map and in that map there are no children. There are only savages. Someone could walk up to you and say, we have video footage, there was a child. And you could say, no sir, wasn't a child. So your mind has already created a map of this reality and your mind cannot account for children. And therefore, for you, there were no children. So what happens is that people are going to start calling you a liar. Are you a liar? If there really were children, would you be America's most lethal sniper? Would you even be a hero? Hell no. If there really were children in that war out there being killed, would you be out there shooting savages? No, the truth is there were no children. There was just savages and future savages. Either America gives up their legend and their hero, or we all start acknowledging that there are children out there being killed. Your truth trumps everyone else's truth, and you get to keep your lie. And when you keep your lie, you keep your life. Chris Kyle said that his comrade Mark Lee died because he wrote a letter that caused him to start stepping on his own landmines. He wrote to his mother from battle, when does glory fade away 
and become the wrongful crusade or an unjustified means which consumes one completely. I've seen war and I've seen death. The sorrow that encompasses your entire being as a man breathes his last. What happens is your mind has already created a map of its reality filled with buried landmines. And when Chris's friend goes back to that field, he starts stepping on the truth, which like landmines explode. That is why they say that you can't handle the truth or that the truth hurts. Which actually sounds a lot like Jack Nicholson and A Few Good Men. Did you realize that? You can't handle the truth. <laughs> Is that, is that how you feel? That yes, ma'am. Just... The truth will actually explode the map of reality that you have in your mind, and that's called PTSD. So the truth is deadly to somebody who's gone through severe trauma. And if you've gone through trauma, abuse, or scandal, and you haven't dealt with the truth for 20, 30, or 40 years, that's probably why you're alive. Your imagination kept you from stepping on landmines that were going to kill you. If you are just now going back through your life and trying to uncover the truth so that you can heal, it's a lot easier to create a map of the landmines first so you know where they all are before you go stepping on them. And I call that a vision map. It's very easy to do. It takes maybe about an hour. And then you can go back and start uh, detonating those landmines without being destroyed. There's a couple other ways that you can do that. You can go to my website and start to download the video series called How to Find Your True Life Purpose, or you can just give me a call and I'd be happy to help you. God bless you.